I was like, oh my god, am I pregnant? I am about to be so big back. A firearm with one single bullet. Hey, what's up, besties? Welcome back to my channel. I have these little ghosts in my hair, but I don't think you'll be able to see them. But I decided for Casoween or Halloween month, we're gonna go ahead and have little funky Halloween things in the background. I thought it would be cute. And I'm trying the Bulldog Samyang Carbonara noodles. I see these all the time on TikTok. I have, I think, three packs in front of me. And then I also have some kimchi and I have some, <laughs> this is so random, but I don't know if anyone else likes mushrooms, but mushroom gang, uh, I've been obsessed with mushrooms. So it's literally just a cup of mushrooms because I needed something other than a noodle. As always, we have a Diet Coke. Let's go ahead and open her. Ooh, I'll take a sip. And then we have a nice big cup of water as well. My mouth is watering just looking at it. Oh, these noodles, I have not had them. So this will be my first time trying them. Apparently, they're a bit more cheesy. I just did the challenge. It was three or four packs of the spicy Samyang Bulldog noodles. This is the carbonara flavored, so no spice. I anticipate devouring practically all of this. I just came back from the gym, so your girl will be munching. So we're going to talk a little bit about performance art and one of the dark, darkest performance arts that have ever happened. Um, this is the carbonara sauce, apparently. So it looks red though. I wonder what makes it red. Is it hot? Oh no. This smells spicy. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. I also have Totoro little Studio Ghibli um, chopsticks. We're gonna go ahead and mix this about. I originally saw these carbonara noodles on TikTok and I just think they look so amazing. I'm ready to try. This looks so good. Whew. They're a little hot, not too much. Okay, my suggestion, if you're not a spicy girly like me and you're a bland girly, just make it with the carbonara sauce packet add um like half of the yeah half of the sauce packet make it with the powder packet and i saw on tiktok if you add heavy cream oh they're supposed to be so creamy let me go ahead and have a mushroom my mushroom craving is so weird i was like oh my god i'm pregnant because <laughs> like out of all things i could <laughs> want in the world mushrooms but i'm not but i'm like why do i want mushrooms out of all foods this is my recent craving dink oh if you're a mushroom girl you calm down below but it tastes like nothing but it's good i am about to be so big back i'm gonna be so for real with you i'm eating all of this but i took some notes on this case and i wanted to start just by saying that this is a very sad topic. It's not necessarily true crime, but I have all respect for the artist who did this project. And yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about performance art. So me and Tyler recently went to a aquarium and it was next to a museum. And it really made me realize how much I wanna to go to art museums and exhibits and things like that. And then I went down a whole rabbit hole. I'm like, maybe I wanna do acting, maybe I wanna do jazz and I decided, I was like, hmm, dance within itself is kind of like performance, but it's an art, and K-pop dance is lots of fun, but are there people out there who do art with themselves? And I know if you ever watch the show Victorious or anything like that, you could see in Psychowitz's class, they have a lot of performance arts, they, they do a lot of different funny gags of funny versions of performance art. So you have like comedy, you have like, if you ever seen the portal they put in New York City, um, they basically decided that they were gonna put a portal in between, I believe it was Ireland and New York City in the middle of New York, Manhattan. And so it was kind of like a big circle portal into the other city. And during the daytime, everyone's so fun, they're so fresh and, and like excited to look in this portal. It started off so cutesy where all, everyone's just like, I love you, I love you. And they're like blowing kisses to each other. 
um, people in the, I think, I believe it was Ireland, went ahead and showed, like, I Love New York on paper, and, and then it started to get a little bit more darker as the day occurred. So as the day went on, people started to flash the other side of the portal, or people started to just show different vile images to the portal. And so the police were kind of like, oh my gosh, who's going to shut this down? Whose genius idea was to do this? Because one thing we know about humans, not all humans are good inherently. So then it started to get even worse because there was children on the other side of the portal. People started doing um, illegal substances in front of the portal. It just became too much. So they actually had to shut it down. These noodles are so good. Brooke Schofield from the Tana Brooke canceled. She likes these noodles too. And I never really tried them because I was like, mm, they can't be that good, but they're really good. I'm going to dip this in the sauce and see how it tastes. I feel like it will give it some good taste. Mushroom in the sauce. <gasps> no. I'm just going to go ahead and throw them in there. I want to go ahead and tell you guys about a performance art that this person decided she was going to take absolutely seriously to the point where she could have been killed during the performance art and she felt very comfortable with that. She wanted to show how far humans can go. And with the recent debate on TikTok and stuff of people being like, would you rather be with the man or the bear? It really just shows you how far humanity could be pushed. And I think I saw a recent quote as well when I came to the man and the bear debate that was like, I would rather be in the woods with a bunch of wolves than with a bunch of men. And a lot of people do cite this Rhythm Zero because of um, how harsh it was for Marina. Marina Abramovich, she was just a girly. I think she was the same age as me when she did this um she was actually 23 so one year younger than me and she decided that she was going to test the limits of the human um, mind and also test the limits of the human emotion so for six hours she laid out a table of a bunch of different things and she sat down in a chair and she basically said you guys can do whatever you want to me with these items and i cannot react cannot emotion nothing so at one point she does start crying, but that's kind of involuntary, like she was crying due to pain, but she could not show any emotion. So no smiling, no laughing, nothing, just a stoic face. And a lot of people were attracted to this. They thought, oh my gosh, this is the coolest experiment ever. I, for one, would go to maybe hug her or maybe be like, oh, you're so beautiful, do her makeup. I would do something like that. So I'm going to take another bite. That looks so good. In my last mukbang, I had a comment <laughs> and it was like, I've never seen someone slurp up, <laughs> slurp up noodles that much. I was like, okay, just call me, just call me Big Bag at this point. I was cackling. I commented and I was like, you right? There's no like no funnier feeling for me than seeing a comment and I'm like, you right, honestly. That's why I do this content. Also, I go to the gym. <laughs> I went to the gym before this. <laughs> so on the table, it actually was written, I'm an object, do what you want to do with me. And the objects on the table specifically were, I have a list here, scissors, nails, a rose, grapes, bread, water like a cup of water feathers perfume a metal bar and a few other things like a firearm with one single bullet and box cutters and the nails and the metal bar so the things that they could have done to her ranged from like you know just tickling her with a little feather or putting a rose in her hair very very sweet things to the firearm and the one single bullet so if they really chose to they could have hurt her 
She said she wanted to bear the risk and responsibility and also push the bounds of what performance art is and what art is. Because there's people who do performance art like painting with their own, like, I don't know, excretions. But then there's people who are like this, who are willing to risk their life for their art. So I think it's quite admirable, but at the same time, there's no way, in my opinion, that I could walk away without PTSD from all the things that people did to her. She was only 23 at the time, so quite young woman. She also said that the things were on the table were either for pleasure or for pain. Because if you were drinking water or if you're eating grapes, that's more for pleasure. Pain would be the box cutter, the scissors, the knives, etc. The public starts to get super frantic and they start to settle in to the room. And this was at an exhibit, I believe, so there is an ex exhibit person taking time and also there. But during the experiment, she does not want them to basically interrupt. And there was quite a few women there with their husbands. While she was there, this is everything that the people had done to her. They hugged her, they shook her hand, they wrote on her. And you may think, writing isn't that bad, but writing obscenities, writing inappropriate symbols on her, that's not appropriate. When the night shifts, it does seem like the crowd and the people begin to change. So then they begin to, you know, slap her, hit her, tear her clothes off with scissors. They begin to caress her in inappropriate places, put a knife between her legs, stab her very lightly with a box cutter and across her body. She still has scars to this day. Cut her up a little bit, to, enough to draw blood, and then they drink the blood, which is insane to me. They began taking nude Polaroids of her <clears throat> while she was in this experiment and handing them to her. People did, you know, hug her and cover her in the end so as they begin to get closer to the night a person decides that they're going to take the firearm and basically put it to her head and also put it to where she can hold it and is basically pointing it at her own neck and if they really wanted to they could have used that singular bullet and i think i remember her saying that they had loaded the firearm in front of her to let her know that it was loaded but she did not show fear she did not show any of that. She did end up crying um, when they started using the knife on her, sucking her blood, all those heinous things. She did have tears running down her face. So a woman came over and wiped away her tears and apparently a man had given his jacket to her. And by the end of the night, they all kind of banded together to make sure that she wouldn't be in any further harm but yeah i did think this is such a heavy topic because it just shows you how far people can be pushed also without showing emotion to me that is absolutely insane i would be scream crying on the floor the name of it is rhythm zero so if you want to do any further research if you want to see um, some videos on marina she's amazing her art and her TED Talks, you guys have to check it out because the topics are so interesting. So what are your thoughts on Rhythm Zero? My big thought here is that people had, there were 72 total objects. People had every ability to do something nice to her, to put pretty lipstick on her, to do her makeup, to give her a flower in her hair. And they chose to do these awful things to her. So it just makes me wonder how many people in the world have these ill intentions? Once she was completely done with the experiment, so when Rhythm Zero was completed and the six hours were over, the gallerist walked in and shut it down. And Marina said in that moment, she went from her emotions back to who she was and was trying to make eye contact with people and trying to act like a human. And everyone scattered. They scrammed. They didn't want to look her in the eye. They didn't come up and be like, I'm so sorry. They just acted like she was an object and then walked away. I just found it so interesting. I had to research this all day yesterday. Let me know what you guys think. I love you so much and thank you so much for 940 subscribers. Bye guys!